This is a review of the common nomenclature of complex substituents. There are a few complex substituents that show up so frequently that we have given them common names to use that are faster and shorter than the IUPAC name of the, of the complex substituent. So we're going to be looking at these complex substituents on cyclohexane rings. Here's a cyclohexane ring, and this substituent is the first complex substituent that we'll talk about. The substituent, which has one, two, three carbons attached at the second carbon, is called the isopropyl group. So this molecule would be isopropyl cyclohexane. And another way that we will notate the isopropyl group is to show the three carbons with kind of a squiggly line on the center carbon to show that that substituent is atta attached to the parent molecule at carbon number two. And we also have, similar to the isopropyl, we have a common substituent that's called isobutyl. This is it right here. This substituent has the Y shape or the V shape that the isopropyl substituent also has, which is why it's also an iso substituent. But it's a one, two, three, four carbon substituent. So instead of isopropyl, it's isobutyl. And we can draw the isobutyl substituent like this, two, three, four, where it's, you're showing that it's attached to the parent chain at one of these outside carbons here. Another common substituent that we see is this guy here, which is also a butyl substituent. It's a four carbon substituent. This substituent is commonly called sec butyl. Because, and I don't know, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but this is how it sticks in my head. Because the butyl substituent is attached to the parent molecule at the second carbon instead of being attached at the end. So the sec butyl substituent looks like that. Four carbons attached at carbon number two. And last but not least... We have another four carbon substituent, which takes this T shape or a cross shape. This substituent is called the tert butyl. It has four carbons, three arranged around a central carbon, and that central carbon is the point of attachment to the parent molecule. So drawn out, it's going to look like this, one, two, three, four carbons attached here at the carbon in the middle. Those are all common names for these substituents, not IUPAC names, but they're used, like I said, they're used more often than the IUPAC name because they are shorter and easier to remember.